All right, why we use Photoshop? Most of the time for beginners, we need to resize an image and save it. So how we do it? Just click on the little icon here. To resize an image in Photoshop, let's go to image and click on image size. And I can move around here on this. And this is the percentage. You can tell Photoshop, I want to be 50% smaller. And this is going to be 50% smaller. I want this 30% smaller. Or I need to be specific in pixel, inches, centimeter, millimeter, points, picos, and columns. What about pixels? I'm looking for something like I don't know, 1920, just basically like a video format. And by default, you have to be make sure this is checked. It means every time I change this width number, for example, 2000, the height is going to be changing automatically. So 1920, and this is going to be the default. And just take a look at the image size. It's 7 megabyte right now. So when you change this, you can see the dimension here as well. So this is can be inches, can be centimeter, millimeter, and anything that your client and you want. Just press OK. And you see the document is getting smaller. And this is the size that you are looking for and you want. Now, to save this, go to File save as now we can save it as a small size as a PST file or you can come here to save as type look for JPEG or look for PNG why PNG and JPEG because most of the time we use this format for social media YouTube and cover image a lot of stuff what if I want to print something if you want to print it put it on TIFF TIFF, which is the best format for print. Or you can put it on PSD file because sometimes if you save it as PSD file and send it to print shop, they don't have the font that you used in this PSD and the font is just going to be changed and everything is just going to be screwed. That's why you put it on TIFF so it's not changeable actually when you print it. Or you put it on PDF as possible. or EPS for print but most of the time we use it and we put it on JPEG and or PNG file and that's gonna be it the smaller side JPEG and click Save well it's just gonna be open the quality you have maximum medium high and low so put it on maximum you can just drag down and you can see the image preview is just gonna be 760k on the right it's 3 meg so sometimes there's a lot of website that they don't allow you to put an image size above 1 meg so I have to bring it down below 1 meg now I can click OK but for now I'm just going to put it on 3 meg and press OK so now you guys know how to resize and how to save a file which is the most important thing in Photoshop you wanted to save this for print, but what about the quality? The quality is going to be like this. If I go back to image and image size, the resolution here is 72, which is basically for print should be 300. It means 300 the resolution. So make sure your image is always on 300 for print. Then you can press OK. So when you change the resolution and you put it on 300, you can go to File, Save As, and save it again. If it's for print, put it on TIFF, and it's going to be fine. And send it to the print shop. And anything is fine, just press OK. And OK.